So I have a new camera. So exciting. Um, hi, I'm Abe. This is going to be my office tour. So I am a ceramic artist slash potter. My studio and working space is actually downstairs in the basement. So it's nice to have a separate space that can stay cleaner and less dusty <laughs> for all of the admin work, computer work, or any sort of illustration, um, shipping and packing, and uh, photography of my pottery all happens in here. Thanks to my patrons, I'm able to set aside the time to give you guys this video. I've been wanting to do it for a while, and I will be doing a separate video for my studio downstairs. Um, so subscribe if you're interested in seeing that too. Let's get right into the tour. Okay, so let's start with my desk area. Um, I have it next to the window so I can stare out into my backyard, which I love. Um, and I do use the windowsill and I mean, it's gonna be a recurring theme for my entire office, but it's very cluttered. And I surround myself with things that I like. <laughs> Anyways, over here is just some things that I need to frame and or find where I want to put them. So they hang out here. This is like a little catch-all little tray that actually cracked, so I kept it. Um, but look, I have this, this is an old um, pin that I made a few years ago. I don't know how long ago, but a while ago. Over here, just lots of random things like this certificate from when I um, went hiking with llamas and uh, the woman running the Rowanwood farm uh, said that you have to show this in order to be in um, the second class, which is more extensive in terms of hiking and less of the educational part. So I was like, I'm absolutely going to keep this. <laughs> um, and that was a really fun experience. And I have a little llama that I made with the ear broke off, but still cute. Um, I'll probably make it again someday, but for now, there's that little guy. And this cup is actually by um, Mark Arnold, and I got it at an Encica. And what happens at this conference, it's a clay conference, Encica, but at the clay conference, a lot of times people will have shows um, in their hotel room. <laughs> And that's what I, that's where I got it. They had a little gallery market pop up in their hotel room. Onto the rest of my desk. Down here is just more art supplies. And my dog, that's where he ends up sitting a lot of the time. Um, he steals my blanket, um, but right now all the blankets are in the wash. So for now, he's just comfy cozy on this bed. So I have my washi tapes, a few more markers and pens and things, essence that I need to put away. I use this when I um, use a luster. This is what cleans the brushes and I was all out so I bought five of them. And some bowls that I made. No one wanted this one, but it's one of my favorites so I kept it. Look, I was so confused. Just random things, um, mostly binder clips in here. And over here, it's more office supplies. Um, this has all of my Copics and Posca markers are in here. Um, I absolutely love this thing. It's from Ikea <laughs> and it's come in handy and I thought I was going to paint it but I never did so I just started sticking stickers on it. Some of the stickers are, this is Creative Cats with a K, K with the creative. Um, I made this one. <laughs> These two are Sinister Squid. This is Sarah Zunda. This one is Bailey J. This is Lee Ellickson. I hope I said their name right. I made this one. Um, this one is Quest of the Beasties, Bailey J. And this one, I don't know the artist, but my friend um, who moved to Arizona got me this sticker. And it's really cute because it reminds me of how I like to keep my hair and plants. And it's pretty. <laughs> 
Um, but on top of this collection of office supplies and um, markers and business cards, washi tapes, a lot of things in there. Um, but on top, I have my Rolo printer. Uh, that's a Samantha Bachman sticker and more Pusheen and Bailey J stickers. And up here, I have kind of like a little altar, I guess. I don't know. I just really like crystals, specifically amethyst. It's my birthstone. Um, this is a tarot card from the from Zeke's lunchbox. I'm excited to buy the um, tarot deck whenever they finish it. Um, but yeah. Oh, and here's a big rose quartz. And I absolutely love this calendar my friend got me. Um, it has little dice to change the date, and I often put a date to look forward to. Um, so this one has January 14th. Um, that's probably the day that I'll open up my shop again. And here's my Palia plant. Looking so cute. I love them. And this was actually a slip casting project that I did in um, my post back. The project was to splice together some old tchotchke molds. So slip casting is kind of like pouring liquid clay into a mold and then that dries, right? So back in the 60s and 70s, there it was like a very popular hobby to use slip casting and make slip casting molds. Um, so I chopped off the heads of a lot of different animals and put them on this mermaid body. And I really like it. Um, but yeah, so like everyone's grandma's basement has a bunch of molds and they're like, what the heck do you even do with these? Um, so a lot of, so they, there's a lot of old tchotchke molds out there. If I were to ever slip cast again, that's probably like the work I would do. <laughs> Anyways, um, and just some of my blobs, some that I thought were like too small or I just wanted to keep one for myself. Um, a little 6% Doki Doki pin for my love of J fashion. This is a little post-it note that I doodled and I just kept it. So it says, the sun will shine again soon, friend. And there's me and my husband. It's a little Instax. Um, cause I have one of those cameras, but this was like before we were even engaged. It's such a long, this was so long ago. <laughs> I don't even know when. Um, anyways, on to the rest of my desk. Um, I keep some dog treats for my dog in there. He doesn't know that, but I do. Some stickers and more washi tapes. Sometimes I'll put candy in there. And this thing I kind of want to point out because a lot of people that sell stickers or send stuff in envelopes, I notice that they will use like a pull tab thing. But this is basically so you don't have to lick an envelope. And this little sponge just gets you moisten that and then boop -a doop -a doop you moisten it. So that way you don't have to lick your own envelope, but also you don't have that extra paper of the little pull tab. Nifty little thing. Um, I used to work at an office supply store, so there's some weird office supply things that I remember that a lot of people don't know exist. <laughs> it's my stamp that I use for when I'm shipping stickers, some dice, um, more dice, <laughs> more dice. <laughs> And um, yeah, my morning coffee, little place to put my coffee, little coaster. And these two cups, here, let me move this cup out of the way. These two cups are a set together and it says the tray underneath it says, cheer up buttercup. And this friend is sad and this friend is the friend that's supposed to help the other friend. And it has, can I spin it? And it has some umbrellas, and this one has rain clouds. And it's just a cute little set that I made for school that I love. Um, but I believe that's my desk. There's my, my new computer. New-ish. Last year. It's a year old. Um, but I love it.
So behind me is a bunch of stuff that I really should clear out because I'm not really sure what's over here. And in here, there's some old um, stationary stuff like this pack of note cards that I thought I was going to use um, as thank you cards for my wedding and didn't use, but I will eventually go through this when shipping out stickers and things like that. And this big old stack are all the things that I use that are flat and small um, for shipping um, all of my illustrations and small product. Um, and these are some of the thank you cards that I use. So I have some that are for the ceramics and some that are for everything else that doesn't need a um, care instructions. I have some of my tarot decks. I use these for ornaments, but now that um, it is past Christmas, I could probably tuck those away, clear up a little bit of space. I kind of want to leave my tree up for a while. <laughs> I just put a bunch of keychains on it for now. Um, so I'm like an old Tamagotchi. Um, this is from um, Ugly Plants. That's really cute. This is my little piggy bank lion. And yeah. And all of my pins. I've been collecting pins um, for, I don't know how long, to be honest. Seven or eight years, I think, maybe. Um, this is some of my pin collection. I do have some of my pins in Eda bags. And I do have some in other parts of the room as well. This is kind of new for this year are these Polly Pockets because I used to play with Polly Pockets all the time, but I have no idea where my old Polly Pockets were or are now. So I bought some on eBay. It was a gratuitous impulse buy <laughs> and a cactus I made when I was in, um, when I worked at Craftivate. It's a craft studio, a DIY craft studio. And I found this while cleaning. It is an ocarina and I was so proud of the um, my first babysitting money that I ever made. I spent it on this and I had to fill out a form on the back of a Nintendo Power magazine. <laughs> so I sent that in and then, um, yeah, this came in the mail, still plays, it's so cute. And I very severely dated myself, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> and there's my old Game Boy color that still works if I get batteries in it. But for now, I just leave it on display. And then there's some more awesome things that I love up here. Alright, my shipping station. So, this table is kind of new. I got it right before the um, holiday rush, essentially. Um, and normally the purple um, tissue paper is on top and I just leave the stack of tissue paper there as I'm wrapping up mugs and everything. But um, I do have a scale and this gum tape dispenser is super nifty and I have some freebies over in this corner of the stickers and the dice that I put in um, packages so those hang out there um, this pothos is new <laughs> um, sawdust store I couldn't help it so I got it um, I do need to prune it and water it a little bit but it's been doing pretty good here, and I really like it. This is an Ace of Hearts um, given to me by my neighbor, and I'm really proud of myself that I haven't killed it. It's been three years now, and it has flowered twice, and this is the first time that it has two flowers instead of one, so that's pretty cool. I do think I'm gonna move it though, because a lot of, as you can see, a lot of the leaves are like turned in funny ways, so I think I should move it from being a window plant. I don't think it's really meant to be in a window. Silver satin pothos uh, that I need to water as well. 
Um, but I also love this guy. Um, fairly new plant to me anyways. And it's really cute. Um, before it was kind of root bound and I've replanted it and rehabbed it and now it has a little bit of new growth. I'm so happy. And then I just tied this little pom pom here. <laughs> uh, this is where I keep a lot of the small stuff. So all my stickers are in here. They're like in a little filing cabinet type of thing. And then the things I wrap up the stickers in. A lot of the pins and everything are in this container and in here. And a lot of the small little blobs also hang out in these containers right here on this side of the desk. And this is the start of a crochet project. Uh, so while I'm playing D&D, I will crochet these squares and eventually I'm hoping to have these squares become part of a patchwork cardigan. So we'll see if that ever happens. If not, I'm okay with it, but it's been fun to like crochet something small. Oh, this is gonna be my new bullet journal. Um, I'm not sure what stickers I wanna put on there. So for now, I've just been like leaving it like this. Down here, other than the tissue paper, um, I have my most common box sizes over here and over there kind of tucked away. And I have uh, packaging that I want to recycle that I receive from um, any other packages and in here is where I normally have all of my packing peanuts so those just stay stacked like that so I can have easy access to both of these totes and then I have some paper that was gifted to me um, packing paper that was gifted to me by another maker who thought they were gonna use it and they don't so they're like hey will you and I do but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this corner of stuff. I do have like a little board up there that I didn't really talk about, but that's okay. We'll see, it's just a calendar. And a bow from a Lolita dress that I just purchased this year. Oh, and this has my yarn and things. <laughs> Whenever I do get around to doing a yarn project, it's a little, a little stool. Right, Moose? All right, let's talk about this little corner. Um, this is the light that I use for photography. All of my product photography, this light has been a lifesaver. Uh, I'm thinking of getting a second one because uh, it would just help with the shadows, bouncing the shadows appropriately. And photographing bigger work would require a little bit more light than this. But since I mostly work with making small stuff and mugs for right now, this works out great. And I hang all of my badges from all the cons I go to kind of like right here. <laughs> they just hang and chill out. All right here. Um, this is a backpack my friend gave me. <laughs> so soft. And then here are some of the pops. Oh no, Tina fell. These are my pops, most of my pops. And I do have some handmade dolls. Um, I made that little red one with uh, the button eyes, that one right there, with uh, some students at a, a summer camp. And the other two I've purchased from artists. And then I have some more pops up there. And this is where my husband keeps his guitars. And um, two of the guitars are my bass guitars. So this one was a gift from my grandma who has since passed away, but it was my first bass guitar. And I think the uh, checkered, right there, the checkered um, strap is very telling <laughs> of my youth and my scene days. Um, and then here's the other one. I'll move this case out of the way so you can see it a little bit better, but yeah. And this one's a fretless and it's really woody and I love it. And I just keep some other big poster and boxes back here. This bookcase holds a lot of um, art supplies, records, um, documents of different kinds, other little tchotchkes and storage. And this is kind of where I photograph everything. So this is just a piece of Plexi, um, really cheap. It's not even glass, it's just plastic. Plexi, 
and then that is contact paper and it is a foam core board that is that is able to fold in half and it works out great for a lot of different scenarios for photographing and then I have my little cutting board over there and some more art I think the only yeah the only thing that I made on this wall is this guy right here um, when I took a crafts class in college we learned how to weave and I think if my program had a fiber arts had fiber as one of the um, options to pick, I probably would have gone into fiber arts versus ceramics. Who knows? I think about that type of stuff a lot though. All right, onto the door. Okay, so this is a dream catcher I made um, when I was working at the craft studio Craftivate. Anytime we teach a class, it's uh, we it's helpful to make along with the students so that we have an example to show them at the end. And then this is a little, <laughs> a doll I made in summer camp that I decided to keep. Um, again, an example made for the kiddos and she's just like hanging on. And this is a piece of cloth that we got um, in high school band when we went to Hawaii and we all thought we were gonna learn how to hula, but instead we learned how to do some traditional Japanese dances with very, very sweet old ladies. <laughs> and they gifted everyone this, um, I guess a scarf. Um, yeah. Let's see, behind the door, I just have some totes and a cape or no, like a robe type of thing um, for cosplaying. But uh, a lot of these totes are experiments because when I was doing handmade markets, it felt weird to give them just a paper bag after they buy a lot of things. So I wanted to give them a tote bag. Um, so these are all block printed um, things. And that one's the doodle. And I still have the blocks that I've carved. And I think I will probably do something with them. Maybe totes again, I don't know. And these are the fanny packs that I would use at markets. <laughs> Still filled with a lot of my show things. Who knows, maybe 2021 we'll have some markets, I don't know. Um, but inside this closet, more boxes. <laughs> uh, more packaging stuff in boxes. That's really, it's really all that's in here really. Um, a lot of my small boxes and extra packing supplies and the tote bags that I'm currently selling. They just all live in here. And there's a llama um, mask, I guess, like a costume mask thing that my friend gave me and I thought it was the most ridiculous thing. So now it just hangs right there and it's really cute. Over here, it's a few more papers and things. Right, Moose? Most, this entire bookcase is all music books. Um, yeah, pretty much the entire thing. My husband teaches music uh, lessons, guitar mostly. So he references these all the time to teach his students. And I also have the Vox Machina pop set because I'm a nerd. And over here, I just have my old laptop some more um, office supplies and things. Paperwork for taxes. And a lot of my tech kind of lives over here. So we have a bunch of old cables. Um, in the milk crate, there are prints and things. Um, fancier paper for the printer. And some of my block prints. So that's like the block print I carved. Um, but paper, prints, all that type of fun stuff. Um, we just have some cables, boxes of old tech, or not old tech, I should say, boxes for tech that I've recently bought and I don't wanna throw out the boxes just yet. <laughs> and my Epson printer, more papers. These are all the books that are like too big to fit on a regular, um, fit on a regular bookcase. And yeah, some art. 
And this one's actually kind of fun. It was a Secret Santa and um, the artist is Ken Fret. And he drew me riding a llama <laughs> with a mug and it has a rainbow tail. Oh, I love it so much. It was like the coolest Secret Santa I have ever received. Like really. <laughs> oh, and I didn't really get to show you guys. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, you guys didn't really get to see my string of pearls, but I have a string of pearls right there. And um, that is a pot that my friend made, um, Faith. She's pretty cool. And yeah. Moose. Hi. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, it was really fun, kind of like delving into all the little things that I keep in this room. It's a lot of little things. <laughs> Um, but I'm excited to see how this room changes and I do have a few things planned for this room So that'd be really cool And don't forget that I will be doing a studio tour um, coming up soon and um, If you're interested in that and other content from a ceramicist slash potter slash artist person Then subscribe and follow along <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, catch you guys in the next video. Bye.